everybody, it's Mr. Moki Moki back again with uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains episode review. Um, it's episode 11 this week, but before I get into it, you may have noticed that episodes 9 and 10 of my reviews were taken down. Um, which is why you're seeing the, the image that you see right now in front of you. Um, quite frankly, I'm afraid if this image is even bad enough to take down, um, the, the people at Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains are just taking down videos that have screenshots of the episode, and honestly, I feel like that's not, um, that's not bad, because, I mean, we have, we have the rights to use those screenshots in order to review them, um, so I think the people who are the reviewers are well within their rights, um, but either way, um, it's, it's what they're doing right now, um, I want to dispute it, but at the same time, I'm not sure what's the best course of action, so I'm going to leave, I'm just going to say a disclaimer right now, this is for fair use, um, this, these are images so that I have fair use and I like, can review them. Um, I'll also leave a comment in my uh, description. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully, actually, I think I might start doing it where I start recording myself and reviewing these uh, videos. That's what I actually wanted to do today, but I don't actually have a space um, set up for it. So yeah, um, as you can see, I'm not very peppy about it, but we uh, I'll do my best and these images might not be the best for you guys but I'm still gonna review it because I still want to do these things um, but yeah if you guys would rather see my face while reviewing it just let me know if not I'm gonna try and find images to keep this more entertaining for you guys to watch um, but yeah I think I've taken up enough of your time let's uh, Let's get into the review. Um, overall, I felt like this episode was good. Um, I guess I guess it was better than last episode. I would say last episode, um, it was it was kind of like static. The colors weren't very very good. Um, and honestly, like last episode, it it was just it just seemed like if. Revolver couldn't win with that field spell. Um, it would seem like he was really weak. Um, I I wanted Revolver, and maybe maybe he still has his credibility right now, but like it just seemed like Revolver should have been a character who's just strong enough to win without these tactics, right? Like I want him to be somebody who doesn't need the field spell or like these these underhanded tricks to in order to beat playmaker i want him to beat playmaker with without you know with his own skill um and it's it's not that he seems weak right now i'm glad that the field spell kind of went away um it did seem a little weird how like yusaku would just summon firewall dragon without knowing what the field spell would do to get rid of it i'm not exactly sure what his course of plan was because honestly in the episode it just seemed like he summoned firewall dragon and then well magically like he knew that the field spell would disappear um <clears throat> or maybe he just thought that the field spell could only activate once um i'm not exactly sure because we don't really get any information on how he would know that about the field spell um because it's not like he took the time to read it at least it doesn't show that he took time to read it. Um, but yeah, he finally, it's episode 11, and we finally have his quote-unquote signature ace monster that has 2,500 attack. Um, Firewall Dragon is here. It's a Cybers. Um, his debut is okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too crazy about Firewall Dragon. I know some people are. Um, but, you know... For his first debut episode, I guess it was good. Um, we don't really see many effects from him. In fact, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly 100% sure what his full anime effect is. Um, and I can't even recall if he used any effects in this episode, which I don't think he did. 
Um, and then we also got Veril Load Dragon in the same episode, so that was cool. So we got the two dragons. Um, Veril Load's entrance was actually quite disappointing to me. Because they did not, it just made him seem like 2D. And it, I was like honestly going to be super disappointed because um, I know Topological Bomber Dragon is also an Ace Monster um, revolver. But it seemed like they treated Topological Bomber Dragon's entrance way better than they did Vero Loads. Um, luckily afterward they did end up giving him the 3D treatment and he looked a lot better. Um, other than that though, like just his entrance was what bothered me. Um, the story-wise, um, the, I guess we learned a little bit more about Yusaku, and I guess he was just, like, a kid, um, whatever, whatever happened to him, he was just put into this training facility where he had to train and duel, um, probably why he's become so cold-hearted, um, and... We, we hear a voice just being like, get up, think of three reasons why, think of three reasons why. Um, so somebody has influenced him, most likely maybe um, Hot Dog Vendor's brother, or maybe it's Revolver as a young kid, who knows. What a twist! Um, but yeah, who, who knows about that? I'm sure you guys have your own predictions. Um, I'm not going to give my predictions about it, because honestly I feel like it can go either way at this point. Um... Or it could be a totally new character. Um, but, yeah. Uh, he gets his three reasons why for that. I liked it. I liked Yusaku in this episode because he, we actually get to see him struggling a bit. Um, we see a little bit more emotion. Um, but, once again, how he gets out of the situation just by summoning Firewall Dragon seemed a little bit of an ass pull to me because... It's, I don't know, it's just like, oh, I summoned my new ace monster, and now I'm free of these problems. Um, so yeah, I kind of wish that he found a more creative way to get out of it, just other than just summoning Firewall Dragon. Um, but it's, it's whatever. It was the effect on the card. One of my commenters told me the full effect on the card last week, so I knew what to expect. Um, but there we go, yeah. Um, we, we get Ghost Girl, Ghost Girl comes in, she gets to observe the duel now, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the point of her observing the duel is, um, other than to get Akira to watch as well, to make sure Playmaker wins, um, because honestly I felt like there was going to be some secrets and some, like, hidden things just going on between Yusaku and Revolver. Um, but now that Ghost Girl is there, it makes it feel a little... I don't know, maybe those those secrets are going to be held off. Or maybe they still don't see Ghost Girl there. They probably don't. Um, and, I don't know, secrets are still going to be revealed. One thing that did bother me about this episode is when <laughs> Revolver declares an attack with Veriload, he he's, like... Um, I don't know, he puts this black scan thing all over his mask so he doesn't, like, I, get, I don't know, take retina damage from his eyes. Um, which, I don't know, it kind of, it seemed a little unnecessary to me. Like, I guess it's cool, in a sense, to to think, like, wow, the, like, it in this Cyverse universe, um, the, the explosions are almost so real that you do need to protect your eyes. Um, at the same time, I felt like it was a little unnecessary, like, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, we, we suspend our belief for a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a duel in, like, a cybernetic universe. We, we don't need that type of, um, suspension for us. Um, but yeah, um, and honestly, the duel is continuing next episode, so it's... <laughs> Hopefully we'll see who actually wins. I'm I'm still thinking it's going to end in a tie. Um, there's a lot of back and forth this episode. So and Co Talker is back. Uh, guaranteed D Co Talker is going to be coming back. If you know what Recoded Alive does, that trap card that Yusaku uses. So something's going to happen with N Co Talker, and then D Co Talker is going to make a comeback. Um, they have said that D Co Talker is a Dragon Slayer um in previous like articles so that's obviously foreshadowing something i have a feeling that 
it's not going to be Firewall that's finishing the duel off, or like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like Deco Talker is going to make a comeback, and he's going to be the one that slays Verilo Dragon, simply because we also get that in the opening where Verilo Dragon and Deco Talker clash. Um, so it makes the most sense, um, but if it doesn't end up that way, then it's whatever. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Um, <clears throat> I know these pictures are not really exciting, but uh, if you guys would rather watch me, uh, record me, um, then let me know and leave me your thoughts about the episode in the comment section down below. I'll uh, we'll talk to you guys there. Remember to like, comment, and scrub scribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.